The next tadpole badge I got was an easier one, the athlete badge. Now I'm good, strong like bull. You could be too, let me show you where to go. Alrighty, the athlete badge. In order to unlock this one, with first things first, we are going to pass the exam. Terminals for the exams are located at various scouting campsites, like here where it all begins at Pioneer Scout Camp. I recommend reading through and trying to answer them yourselves as some of the questions and answers in the quiz are pretty chucklesome, and you can always retry. But I've also added a link in the description below to a Reddit post with a list of answers to all scout exams. Now that we've learned a few things, let's get physical. There is a minimum requirement for this badge of 5 strength and 6 agility, which can be intimidating for lower level players or if your build just isn't catered to these specials. An easy way to get around that is by using stat boosting consumables and gear. It's counting your stats, not your perk stats, so you can pop on a chem to boost your agility or strength up temporarily to check it off and it doesn't get taken away when your boost wears off. In the world of Fallout, no one is testing for steroids. There are three athletic courses we need to run to finish off the badge. First course is over at Camp Fetcher. Don't be like me and run the course without seeing the markers pop up or else you'll have to start again. Just follow the course and run through or climb up to the flagged markers in order and in a timely fashion to complete this course. Simple enough. The next course starts on eastern side of the New River Gorge Bridge. This course is pretty straightforward. Your objective is to just get to the other side. This run does have lower level ghouls around, that and a few toxic hazards, but the main issue is the height. Ugh. Just don't look down and you'll be fine. Because that is one heck of a drop. Wait, so I just thought of this. I'm assuming that tadpoles are in the age range of 7 to 10 years old. They wanted tadpoles to do this course. Up here on the beams of a bridge hundreds of feet above the ground with no safety net. That seems a bit extreme. Maybe all the markers fell into the supports when the road crumbled? Otherwise, I'm not sure the scout program is one I'd let my kids join. Or maybe I would. Build character. Our final athletic test. I found this course to be a lot of fun with that edge of danger involved. Starting up at sunny top ski lanes, you'll run your way down the slopes. This course has a lot of explosives and traps and I got really distracted by all the gnomes here as well. By the way, I absolutely love the gnomes of Fallout. Those mischievous little guys. Either they're here to cheer us on or the traps around are all they're doing. If you survive to the end of the course, you'll have yourself a shiny new badge. You've completed your running requirements for your athletics badge. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Way to go! Athlete badge down. If I had one request of this new update, I'd love to see a sash or pin board that you can display your badges on. One of the best parts of scouting is showing off your flair. I don't need 37 pieces of flair to express myself, but seeing other people's badges would be a great conversation starter, so maybe you can help a fellow scout out with one of the teamwork oriented badges if you see that they're missing one. Just an idea, what do you think? Alrighty neighbors, that's it for this one. Thanks for tuning in. I hope I helped you out a bit. Leave a like and be sure to subscribe to catch the next badge guide. I'm planning on covering each one. I'm Wickedy, and until next time, 
Bye.